I'm uh, talking right now, and the weather is very, very, uh, very cold. It's freezing over here. I'm struggling, uh, struggling with words, but I'm gonna uh, try to film the whole experience, and you're gonna feel like if you are, uh, as if you are here, just alongside me, standing on this beautiful boat and looking at this uh, magnificent uh, view, one of the most uh, beautiful glaciers on Earth. What a beautiful place. Uh, but I gotta tell you folks, it's so cold. Hello again from Ilulisat, Greenland. Today I'm gonna take a boat tour all the way to Eki Glacier. It's about two and a half hours one way. And uh, you're about to see one of the most beautiful glaciers on earth. So I will uh, share what I can with you on uh, in uh, this video. So let's go. should take this trip when they come to Greenland? Well this is one of the most spectacular trips you can take because we're going to to visit one of the of the most active uh, glacier on the northern hemisphere and um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, carve the, the biggest icebergs but it carves a lot of a lot of uh, times every day and uh, it moves around uh, 15 meters uh, per day towards the sea, so it's, it's moving very fast. And uh, therefore, you get relatively close to the glacier, and uh, it's safe to get all the way, uh, maybe one kilometer uh, away from the glacier, which is very close. Three and a half meters wide and approximately 200 meters tall, and uh, you will have all the thunder cracks all the time. You will see the glacier carve into the sea, and it's, it's really uh, something special. Is this something that we can only do in the summertime, like in, yeah. in, in certain months of the year? Yeah, uh, because of the, the, the amount of ice which will be close to the glacier, it's impossible to get close to it in the winter time. Uh, right now, we should be possible to get, get within one kilometer of the, the glacier. Uh, just uh, three weeks ago, it was only possible to, to get uh, four kilometers uh, near the glacier because of the, the ice in the water. So, would you say um, late June till mid-August will be a good time? Yeah, uh, maybe September, early September. Or early September, yeah, okay. Then it will start getting dark. Then it start getting dark, okay. Yeah. That's right great. We have, uh, we have daylight 24 hours a day. That's great. Perhaps it's uh, too dangerous to be near. Uh, so, it has bigger pieces. And the, the big pieces, they are often going into the water and then it takes, it's taken by the current and then it's coming out somewhat and then it comes up. And that's why it's uh, really dangerous to be in there by that one. We go right around the corner here 
and then you will be able to see the glacier that we are going to, which is happening in a way where it's uh, smaller pieces, and they're not, they're staying on top of the water. We, are, we can go a lot closer to that one, which is approximately one kilometer. And that is close when it's a glacier. to get in but we cannot sail the fast right now because we're going through the through the ice. Yeah. So we have to be very careful. We're gonna get all the way, all the way to the glacier up, up ahead over there. It's possible to go to the roof now. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yes. Let's go to the roof. Definitely uh, one of the most beautiful uh, glaciers in the world. A lot of people are talking uh, right now uh, next to me. The boat is a little bit crowded, so I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to stay away from them, but it's very hard. So, uh, but I'm trying to uh, film the whole thing as if you were uh, here exploring the uh, the area with me so I'm gonna do my best to uh, to let you uh, see it while you're staying home and uh, enjoying it and in, uh, in, in doing so I'm not gonna add any uh, music in the background check or any anything like that I'll just want you to see exactly what I see right now so uh, if I do add background music and all that kind of stuff, it's not going to make uh, the video uh, look and feel real. I want you to, to really, really experience what I am experiencing right now. It's, uh, it's out. Uh, it's exceptionally out of this world. Really, really, uh, mind, mind blowing. It's cold. It's really cold. Look at the, uh, 
look at uh, what I am sailing among all those uh, ice icebergs. But uh, we're, we're, we're getting closer now. Isn't, uh, isn't it something? Wow. You know, you know folks, I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling. I'll let you, uh, let you explore it. So let me, uh, so I'll just keep the camera on and let you uh, see it. So uh, it's gonna be a long, uh, video but uh, I want you to see experience what I see right now look look at the uh, look at the ice over here We'll try to uh, to get more closer to the uh, to the glacier. And the, uh, according to him, the weather today is not uh, it's not that bad. So he's doing uh, he's doing his best to uh, to get uh, closer and closer. We will see uh, we will see how far he's gonna go, how far in he's uh, he's gonna go. I gotta tell you, the whole area is, uh, is really mind-blowing. It's 
freezing over here and I am uh, now in front of the uh, one of the most beautiful glacier on earth and that is Eki Glacier what a beautiful place what a beautiful place let me uh, let me show you what I see right now so the boat will uh, will stop here for a while and they're gonna serve um, um, lunch uh, downstairs over here so I'm gonna have to go down and uh, eat lunch uh, in about 10 minutes but the view is uh, unbelievable it's, uh, it's mine it's mind-blowing see they just stopped here and I'm not sure what he's gonna do maybe, maybe he's fishing or something but uh, they're gonna serve uh, lunch because this this boat this boat uh, tour includes uh, lunch because to get here it takes about two and a half hours to uh, to get here and then in a, we're gonna spend in an hour just in front of this uh, view and then after that we head back all the way to Ilulisha that will be two and two and a half hours uh, back so what a beautiful uh, what a beautiful view look at this uh, isn't isn't that something it's really really beautiful anyway folks I'm gonna have to wrap up this uh, video here and, but before I do that let me uh, let me give you a view of the uh, of the surrounding area so you get an idea you know much to my uh, surprise and delight the, the the weather allowed us to to get all the way to this um, to this point and uh, the weather is very unpredictable even in the summertime so I consider myself lucky that I uh, that I made it you see and uh, so if you have any question about uh, this trip feel free to ask in the comment section and I will do my best to uh, to answer and try to visit Iceland in the future not Iceland Greenland sorry Greenland this is Greenland try to visit Greenland in the future and if you don't want to visit Greenland just watch the videos my videos of Greenland you will feel like you are uh, in Greenland so have uh, have a wonderful day and take uh, take good care bye bye